What's up, everybody? What do you say? How about another beer? How about it's time for the Troganator? It's time for the Troganator. It's time for the Troganator. And this one actually comes in from Trogues Brewing at 8.2% ABV, 25 IBU. And they do a good job of putting the information here on the label so you actually know when you need to have it by. And Hops Magnum, German Northern. And also, they give you the color bronze. So they're putting a lot of good details on their label, so good for them. Trogues does some pretty good beers. I've had some of their other stuff, but for some reason, never had the Troganator, which is actually almost like, I guess you could say, an icon beer for them. Like, a lot of people know them by that beer. And this is a Doppelbach. Let's get this baby open and get it into a glass. It's time for the Troganator. Time for the Troganator. Oh yeah. Look at that. Pours real nice. Can hear you the fizz. Yeah. Sit that right there. Booyah. Got the little devil there on the label if you missed that there. Or devilish whatever on the label. Color of the beer. Nice. Pretty much. I guess you could say like a copper brown. Has some clarity into the beer. Although I'm not seeing all the way through to the other side. From this side looking into it. I can see through somewhat to about the middle of the beer. The head itself came out about a two fingers down to about a finger now. And this came out as a nice tan beige head. I'm trying to pick up some of the other carbonation, which you can kind of see there. So we got some lively carbonation, some bubbles right there heading up to the uh, head. Nice smell, a nice sweet maltiness, which you expect out of a Doppelbach. That sweetness that it actually has in this one kind of reminds me of something like a honey. Um, it's got a nice amount of that feel of the uh, aroma. It's also got a little bit of a, on well, a nose, seemingly like a syrupy type aroma. So I'm thinking when I do drink this, the texture might be a little bit syrupy there. Almost like that candy type sugar. You get some of that yeast in the aroma as well. Nice breadiness. I would say more definitely of the, uh, the dark breadiness there as well. But we've talked about it. We smelled it a little bit. Let's get the taste. Oh, that is smooth. That baby just lays down in your mouth nice and easy. Nice velvety feel that is definitely sticking around some. You're not having to get that dryness in the mouth where you have to jump into that next drink so much. Has a little bit of a nice quality to it in that texture to give it a little bit of a nice, I want to say like refreshing type burst, but different type of refreshing thing. It's not like you think of some of your other lighter beers. It just has a nice splash to it. Despite how the carbonation looks there, carbonation is not overly done in the taste at all. Do you get some of that sweetness there in the mouth? Again, almost like that candied sugar type sweetness. Goes down the back end without any trouble whatsoever. I mean, really just slides down the throat. Gets off the tongue quickly. I feel it in the uh, cheek area. You do get a little bit of a booziness in play as well but really getting around the mouth without any problem and easily can, as I'm doing it right now, drinking through this thing. Nice malt presence. I can feel the booziness hitting a little bit more, but uh, at that 8.2% ABV does stack up rather easily that you can easily knock a few of these out and when you stand up, they will catch up to you a little bit. So little deceptive there, you know, as far as uh, how it may hit you, but that's okay. A nice, smooth tasting Doppelbach. And um, if you happen to see it, I would definitely 
say pick it up and give it a try and if you've had this before let me know what you think of it by putting a comment in the comment section but one I would definitely recommend and speaking of recommending for me on my scale looking at the Troganator I'm gonna actually give this one a 425 out of 5 I think it's just past that very good level I think it's very solid I think if you're a Doppelbach fan, you're going to like this one. I will say it does have a tinge, just a tinge of a little bit of a thinness, I think, in there. But overall, very, very, very good Doppelbach. Thanks again for swinging by. Check out another video. I look forward to catching you guys next time. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And of course, keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers. Cheers.